For the following exercises, use graphs of f of x, shown in figure 6, g of x, which is shown in figure 7, and h of x, which is shown in figure 8, to evaluate the following expressions. Okay, so we have three different graphs here, the f graph, the g graph, and the h graph. Uh, these are all functions, and then we have four expressions down here that we got to answer. Okay, it may look daunting or scary, but have no fear because we are here for you guys. We got tips and tricks coming your way. So if you follow these uh, steps, you guys are going to be golden. Okay, so remember, these are composite functions. We've done tons of questions with composite functions. They always have this like similar w look around them where you have a bunch of letters with parentheses and numbers. So, now we just got to figure out what they are by looking at a graph. Let's start with the first one here, f of h of 2. First thing that you want to do is you want to find out where the x value is, which is going to be the number, on the inner function. Remember, guys, with composite functions, we always work from inner to outer. So, between the f function and the h function, which one is the inner function? The innermost one with the parentheses it's going to be the h function. So you always start there and work your way outside. So the first thing we got to do is h of, oh boy, h of 2. Okay. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to start saying y values, right? Because we need to find out what the corresponding y value is for the inner function. Um, they have these weird f of x things over here, but however... Remember, that's just, that's just a fancy way of saying y. So we're still finding y. They just disguised it as f of x. But remember, any vertical line, if you're doing two-dimensional stuff, is always a y. Okay, so this that we're plugging in is always going to be the x. We have to find out the y. Okay, so h of 2. I got to go to the right uh, graph. The h graph is over here. And x of 2 is here. But I got to reach the graph. So I got to go all the way up and touch the graph. What is the corresponding y value? Oh, it's 2. Okay, so that answers the first piece. Now we're ready to move on to the outer function. The outer function is f. But however, what am I going to plug in? It's the answer to what you just solved. Use that new value, the 2 in this case. Use that new value for the x on the outer function and figure out what the y is. So this 2, you're going to plug in whoop, for the parentheses. And now it turns into an x value. And now we just do the same thing. we got to go to the f graph, which is this one x of 2, which is right here. We got to go all the way up to where it touches the graph. It looks like it's going to touch it here. And what's the corresponding y? Oh, it's 4. And that is your final answer since we have no more functions, you know, more to the left. f is the last function. Okay, we're getting the hang of it. We got three more examples. Let's go to the next one. h of f of 2, inner to outer. Inner function is the f of 2, and that number is the x value. So I got to go to the f graph. I got to look at where x equals 2. I got to go all the way up. Looks like it's here. And what was the corresponding y value? 4. So that's the first part. And now we got to go to the outer function. The outer function is h. Oop, the outer function is h, however... I'm going to plug in now the answer, and that's my new x value to get out my y value. So now I'm over here. This is my h. And it was h of 4, so the x value is 4. i got to go all the way up where it reaches the graph. Looks like right here. And what's the corresponding y value? 4. So there you go. And that's the answer for the second one. Okay, let me just erase these because we got two other ones. And then we'll get to it. Okay, ooh, this one's got three functions. But same exact process, inner to outer. Now we're just going to be doing it three times. So let's go. What is the inner function? 
H of 4. This is the X value. So I got to go to the H graph. 4 is over here. I got to go up to where it hits. Boom. What is the corresponding Y value? It's a 4. Okay. Now I go to the next function. The next function is the G function. G of, use that answer, 4. And that's the new X value. The G function graph is here. We got to go to where it's 4. Got to go all the way up. What's the corresponding Y value? 2. Are we done, though? No, because we got one more function, the F function. So I'm going to put it over here. F of 2. Use that answer. So now we're over here. The X is now a 2. I got to go all the way up. It looks like it hits it right here. And what's the corresponding Y value? It's a 4. And that is your final answer. Okay. So just the more functions that they give you, just the more times that you got to, you know, do the graph process. But always work from inner to middle to outer, right? Always go from the inner to the outer. Last one. F of G of F of negative 2. The inner function is f of negative 2. I'm going to put it up here. f of negative 2. This is the y value. Uh, sorry, this is the x value, right? f graph is over here, but now we have to go to a negative 2x. Got to go all the way up. What's the corresponding y value? Oh, no, this is not where it ends. Hold on. You got to go all the way up to where it hits the graph, which looks like here. What's the corresponding y? four. So that's the answer to the first part. Now we go to the next middle function, which is the G function. G of, plug that answer in, and now that's your new X value. So G of four. G functions here, four on the X, go all the way up to get the Y. Y looks like a two. Are we done? No, because we got one more function to do. The last one is f. So I'll go back down here. f of 2, because it's the always the answer from what you did before. And what does this equal? f of 2. This is your x value. f graph is over here. 2 on the x. Go all the way up. Hits it here. And it is 4. And there you go. So f of 2 is 4. Let me, maybe I'll just put it down here. And then that is your answer. Okay. We did them all. As you can see here, no really math. We didn't have to calculate anything. We love graphs because just as long as you know how to work the coordinates, you, you know, you got it. Math is fun. Math is fun. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you think so. Um, if this video helped you at all, Hit the like button if you want to subscribe to the channel and help us out. Thank you so much for doing that. It means the world to us. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard and I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.